I learned something this week. I learned that when I travel, I don't fucking bullet journal. I don't even think about it. I was gone this week for two days, a total of two days, totally gone. I spent about three days either traveling or out of town or sleeping off the trip because I wasn't feeling good. I fell down on my trip and my kidneys were not happy with me. So I spent most of Sunday asleep when I wasn't watching Game of Thrones or on a plane. So you're gonna see in this week's bullet journal walkthrough, there are things I did not do. Here is my fucking deadlines page and I got three of them done and I missed one, but I'm still working on it. So just to show you that from last week, I actually went back and finished these. I might be a dirty liar to myself, but at least I got them done. This is the llama's love lettering every damn day. And then I also am done through Sunday with the Oso Doodle Challenge. F and Meow is my personal favorite. And with typewriter, I didn't want to draw an entire typewriter. So I just drew some typewriter keys. And I feel like my birthday cake looks a little spooky. Why? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the habit tracker, shall we? So here's the habit tracker. And what you will see is I basically did not touch Instagram, Instagram stories, YouTube comments. I didn't touch the lettering group for a couple of days just to add, do the ads. I had videos scheduled though. So I had a video go up on Friday and a video go up today, which is Monday, the day I'm actually filming this, not the day this goes live. So that I did in advance and I was proud of myself for that. But Instagram was basically a black fucking hole for me. I did, however, wake up at 633 of those four, those days I was gone because I had to either get ready for a plane flight or I had another thing going on. So I'm very impressed with myself for that. But other than that, most of my habits kind of went by the wayside. So I'm hoping to fill this in with like a strong end of the month and have this just be like a beep, whatevs. And then let's go to my time tracker so you can really see. Here we go. This, when I started packing is when I stopped time tracking. And this whole weekend I can tell you was either planner meetup, traveling, sleeping, or being at the airport, or a few times of having dinner with people or whatnot, whatever. It could just be a giant block of friends or a giant block of travel or whatnot. Not really anything beautiful to look at. As for my week, I really like putting the weather here in the corner. I feel like even though it's a little bit redundant since I have it in my other planner, it just kind of adds something to it. And I didn't put anything in this space because I didn't, I knew I wasn't gonna have space for Thursday right here. So I moved to the other page. So it's a little bit of wasted space. I could have added something there, but to be perfectly honest with you, I was fucking lazy. And then we have Thursday, and then this is where everything stops. Again, because I just sort of dropped the ball. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just start Monday here, but I want to put in my standard time tracker. I want to create another collection page. I want to start making a list of certain things I want to try for my channel, like brands of pens or art supplies or whatnot. So I wanna have a page for that as a collection. Then I need to put in my lettering uh, space for the week. And then I wanna put in my time tracker. Or I could put my time tracker here, start Monday here, and then add my collection right here. I think I might do that. So, okay, that's what we're gonna do. Monday's gonna go here, time tracker here, lettering pages here, and then my collection for things to try on my channel is gonna go there. So we're gonna kind of work backwards from what I have been doing lately in my bullet journal. So I use the 01 Tombow for writing on my list, but then I use the 03 for actually putting like the title in. Why? I, I don't know. Don't wonder why I do this shit. This is just why I do this shit. What fucking day? I don't even know. Super sloppy, don't give a shit. So today is also eclipse day. So what I'm gonna do for my weather is I'm gonna draw this and then I'm gonna draw this. And this is gonna be the sun and this is gonna be the moon covering it. Yeah, artistic. I wanna write eclipse. This is the least fancy I could be because I actually don't care that much about watching the eclipse. I don't have eclipse glasses and I'm, I don't know. It's gonna be right after I go to my gynecologist appointment shortly. Anyway, I'm gonna write in my to-dos in a little bit, but here's where it's gonna go. So that's Monday. So let's do the time tracker here. So as you can see, I'm trying to do this situation where I line everything up and just go straight across because I am lazy as fuck. I have no idea if that's actually correct or not. Let's find out before I draw anything else and I'm just gonna draw this. You know, I'm doing this to try and like, go faster and not have to worry so much. Fuck, that is too long. Oh well. Oh, I'm not even counting this either. Trying really hard to go fast and not have to worry about shit. And instead what I wind up doing is doing it wrong. I'm gonna do this. Now it looks 
Like it's just boxed in specially. <laughs> it's a little bit like half-assed, but that's kind of what I do. I'm gonna try a little different though layout here. Instead of putting notes here, I'm gonna put notes down here. Maybe I'll actually make notes this week. You never know. And then I'm gonna do down the side here, I'm going to do my key. But let me write in time tracking across the top. This, I think, is gonna become the sloppy as fuck bullet journal experience, because this is sloppy as fuck. All right, I do wanna put my dates here, though, because that's just what I wanna do. Now let's put my key in. And as per usual, I'm using mild liners. So we have here for purple, or for dark blue, or like the slate blue, we have sleep. Purple is Jesse, my husband. Could be hanging out with him, watching Game of Thrones. Could be other things, just saying. This red color is kids, and then this bright orange is friends. This purple color here is Patreon. Other blue color here is YouTube, like everything channel related. Green is everything else business related. And this tealy kind of aqua color is church shit. And my handwriting is also sloppy as fuck today. Just thought you should know. Bright pink is hygiene. This mustard color is food, like cooking and eating and such. This other red is chores, housework, laundry. And the bright yellow is errands, grocery shopping, doctor's appointments, And then these final colors, the gray is for reading books, not internet. The brown is for, I call it SM farting. It stands for farting around on social media where it's not related to like my business or anything. And then this blue here is fucking off. Not skanky stuff, but watching TV brainlessly, sitting around staring off into space, any of those things that, that's not farting around on the internet related. I actually like the key right here. I think that looks kind of cool. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think this looks cooler than like, let's go to one that's full. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you think that the key here looks cooler than the key here. It's drawing my lettering, it's my, my lettering spot. Let's see if I can do it better than I did with the time tracker because that kind of sucked. Now we'll do the other side. feel like this is kind of generic. I've done this already enough times that it's been kind of the same shit, you know? However, I've decided that next month, assuming I finish this bullet journal, when I finish this book out, maybe is what I'm looking for, I'm going to try out something different. I think I'm gonna give doing a weekly, why is this 121, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What did I do wrong? Oh, motherfucker. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do here and then 28, 27. <laughs> Shit. That's what I get for thinking out loud. And I'll just write the date here. I knew something didn't look right. What ifs? Anyway, the point I was making was I think I want to try drawing out a weekly spread rather than just doing the list though part of me is really worried about that because when i tried bullet journaling in the past part of what kept me from really enjoying it was having to draw out a weekly spread it felt super like bogus to have to draw that out every week however i feel like if i have done this if i get through august and i finish this by this bullet journal notebook out this is the right company dot journal ps when i finish this book out you know, it maybe that's like the sign that it's time to try something else to give another style a shot. Of course, that could be a terrible fucking idea. Like, you never know. I don't really like how those numbers look, but what evs. So yeah, like I, I tend to be a creature of habit. Like I, I don't change up what I do very often. That's why... Like for me, sometimes I wonder if I should just stop doing like plan with me's or these bullet journal videos altogether because I don't change up what I do very often. So I can't imagine why 
it would be interesting to keep watching when I'm doing the same shit over and over again because I'm not, that's part of why I get so frustrated when I try something new because I get so used to doing the one thing I can handle that I try something new and it's like, oh God, ah, why it's so hard. So, but that could be funny, but it's not very useful to me. And to be perfectly honest, like the most important thing about doing this bullet journal and doing my planner and all that is so that I actually use them, not so that I can just be entertaining, as entertaining as you know, I can be. So I don't know. I also feel like at the very least, I, the one issue I think I have with doing this particular style of bullet journaling with like the month and the task list is I love seeing a monthly spread. I'm more visual than, than this kind of, I'm great with list making in this style, but in this, in the like month, this thing, it's just not as easy for me to get the hang of like understanding. So I don't know. I might just be rambling, but I'm really thinking that I wanted, if I can get through this whole little notebook and survive and continue to keep bullet journaling, aside from apparently taking trips when I stop, I want to give some other layouts a try. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be the kind of person that does like the 11 T billion different fancy layouts and shit. Like a lot of the other bullet journals on YouTube do like whether I want to be like, oh, but I have to do it so people want to watch my channel. Well, fuck that shit. Like, I'm not going to be a performing monkey just so people will watch my channel. Like, I have to be able to use it. If being a boring ass fucking bullet journaler is the way that I am going to get through it, then that's just going to be how it's going to be, I guess. I guess we'll have to see, right? But anyway, here's my lettering spread. Slightly different. I don't like that there's going to be less space here, but I fucked up, so you got to go with it, right? The last thing I'm going to do is add right here a collections page to try is kind of what I want to call it. Maybe I'll just write that across the top here. Let's see. Let's do, let's do some bubble lettering. Why the fuck not? I have not been bubble lettering that much in this bullet journal. Mostly, I... I, I don't know why. I can't tell you why I do anything, apparently. Maybe because my bubble lettering is also sloppy as fuck right now. I think there's enough space where I can mark this with washi tape so that I'll be able to find this collection since it's going to be one I'm going to be adding to fairly often. I don't really have a specific washi tape that would suit this situ situation or if I do I'm too lazy to see it. So I'm going to use this once more with love washi with the little munchkins on it. I got it in her like the box that she did back in January or some shit. Try and line this up like you know I actually cut this. Will I be able to? Let's find out. Well, that side worked. But this side. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Now let's see if we can lay this nice and flat. Did I just... God damn it. I just did the same fucking thing I did in a different video where I just washied closed multiple pages. As in, if I was good. I know I want to see if I can get through this notebook and, you know, be done with it. But not at this price. It needs to be pure. Oh my god, you're my god. Okay, oh, it's all fucking fucked up, whatever. We got some washi down to mark this page. I'm gonna put some page numbers in. I'm gonna go write this in the index. All right, now that I have that in, I am gonna add a little key up at the top. You know how I feel about keys. I think that they're kind of weak, but in this case, I'm gonna add another use of my mild liners. We're gonna use two bright fluorescentiest ones. Fluorescentiest. We're gonna use this yellow and we're gonna use this pink. And I think we'll use the orange. These three highlight, highlight, like the super brightest colors. This is how it's gonna work. I am going to highlight the stuff that I put on this list and put it into one of three categories. Tip Test Tuesday, which could also be things that aren't pens like planners and shit, but like my, my days that I do product, first impressions and reviews, the pink is gonna be art supplies for Wednesdays when I do art videos, and then the orange is gonna be gimmicks. So if you have any recommendations for any of these art supplies you wanna see me talk about, gimmicks that you wanna see me test to see if they're gimmicks or not, pens and planners and other shit like planner type supplies for Tuesdays, let me know and I'll add them to my list. I'm not gonna write shit down now because I wanna sit down and brain dump this. But this is gonna be the things to kind of put on my list for my channel. I'll take a few minutes, write down my shit for Monday, and then I will be done, I think. All right, I think we're good. I don't have anything super out of this world going on. No sermons, no meetups, just a lot of work to get done. 
So this is gonna be a grinding kind of week. That should be reflected on my time tracker. So I wanna know a couple of things from you in the comments if you've gotten this far. A, if you have anything from my to try list, from pens or planners to check out, to art supplies to look at or explain how to use, to things that you think might be gimmicks that you want me to take one for the team on. Let me know about that. And also, I really would like to know if I am the only one who drops the ball on using my planner, my bullet journal, whatever, when I travel. Am I the only one? Because I seriously, it was like a void happened in both of those things. <laughs> and I just wanna know if I'm, if this is just my failing or if it is something that we all do or go through. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.